Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday. Here in the United Arab Emirates. It's um, the 11th of March. Everything is happy. Stimmy checks are going through. Uh, inflation is not a problem. Everything is happy, happy. Let's take a look at that 10-year rate. It's hard to believe. Um, hard to believe that data yesterday. I really didn't. Uh, doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. But even more importantly, the reason bonds, bond yields are going up is not really because of inflation, or that may be part of it. But it's more people around the world questioning them. You know, uh, what's the value? What's the value proposition here of U.S. Uh, long-term paper? How the fuck are they going to pay this shit back? Um, I really think this is more going to be the question than uh, are the price of oranges going higher? We'll see. We're still at 150 here. We kind of talked about this thing going back down to 140 or 149. Really, I guess this is probably the, the good support, 148.40. We got down to 150, and now we're back 152. Uh, do we finish the week above 162? I think so. People are a little bit complacent here about what's going on. Um, so watch this. This is a driver, obviously, as yields go down, equities go up. Here's the uh, U.S. equities. Now we are... 200 and I guess we're 200 we're 200 points higher almost uh, 7% higher from the lows which were on the 4th that was a week ago um, here we are I don't know what to say I mean don't really like it uh, I'm not really buying into it I'm just kind of being patient now um, waiting for a turn I guess things will get interesting down, starting through down through 38.90. No sense in trying to fade this. Uh, but now really close below 38.90, we might start getting interested. We bought some dollar tower yesterday. We bought, we bought 23s. Uh, we sold 29s, and then we bought 20s and 12s yesterday. So our average, I don't know what's the average on that. 20s and 12s is 16. We made about seven handles. Our, our average is around 13, 15 bucks. Um, perfect death knock down here at 03. Went a little bit further than we thought it would, uh, but we do like this to turn. Um, this will be a function of rates higher. So you can have confidence in this if rates go higher. Uh, but if rates continue to go lower, we're going to have to exit this thing um, somewhere below 15, double zero. What else we got out there? Not a whole heck of a lot. Obviously, with risk on, we're running away from these key levels. Kiwi yen is now not in play. Kiwi dollar is 100 points away. Those levels are useless. I'm going to run into some resistance here. Um, In uh, in euro dollar, let's look at the uh, dailies. Going to be first resistance here. Um, one nineteen sixty between one nineteen sixty and one nineteen ninety. This is a sell today. Um, euro dollar. Talked about gold yesterday. Tried to pick some of that up between nine and eleven. That worked out pretty well. It's up at 31. We didn't hold it for the whole ride here. Um, you know, we actually just ended up selling our shit at 17. Just more of a little bit of a day trade. Um, but this looks pretty robust, but it's going to be running into the same resistance problems as euro dollar. So careful 50, 60 today in gold. Certainly a sell uh, first time there. Where's dollar Swiss doing? 9301 euro Swiss must be still higher. Yeah, 11092. Not doing much dollar Swiss. We're sort of sitting here waiting and deciding again. Um, this is rates driven.
Bitcoin, bid, 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 top of the range. We should take a peek up here, um, up through 60 the next two days, mainly just because the people will be thinking about this stimulus and what's what it's going to have to do to the U.S. dollar over time. Um, so Bitcoin should remain bid. Ethereum, our good friend, um, choppy day yesterday down to 1750, but now at 1800. I was talking to some engineers yesterday about transaction costs on Ethereum. This is becoming a real problem. Um, something to keep an eye on going forward. It may stagnate here, Ethereum, until we get these transaction prices um, at a better level. So if you're bricks and mortar for every smart contract or every stable coin is Ethereum based, and it costs a hundred bucks to do a transaction. Um, I don't know. It takes away a lot of the sort of financial incentives to be in this space, which is cheaper, faster, and more reliable. Certainly, the cheaper side uh, doesn't make sense, and the more reliable side. I mean, it's not like the old financial system was a was a complete clusterfuck disaster. Um, it's less reliable, but it's still pretty reliable. So there's some questions percolating in my mind um, after a long chat with some developers yesterday about Ethereum. I still love it. Uh, I feel like this is Google early stage and it's going to have some teething problems. Um, but uh, I'm going to continue researching that and looking into it uh, because I think it's important for the next couple of years. Finally, let's look at GameStop. This thing is just awesome. I mean, what the fuck? $348 yesterday. <laughs> uh, God. What the hell? Just craziness. Um, you just got to wonder if all these hedge funds have got reshored again or, or just said, no way this can happen again. And, and here we are. God bless that long hair fucker from from New Bedford and all his Wall Street bets buddies. Just crazy. Um, this valuation obviously at 350 is insane. Uh, can this go to 500? Yes, it totally can. Just on a stop loss squeeze type of run. Total nonsense. Total insanity. Talk about the gamification of trading this. GameStop, no pun intended, um, is it, and I find it fascinating. Anyway, uh, not a lot to say here. We're just watching rates, obviously. If rates start going higher, we'll, we'll tap risk a bit. Um, and if rates continue lower as they are, we're not going to do much. Um, we're just going to sit and be patient. We'll be trading this dollar czar up at 1520 will probably work some average average magic um, and that's about it you know we're just we're, we're fairly skeptical of this these prices up here and this move so now we're just going to sit back be patient and watch and see if it turns and if it doesn't we just leave it alone all right talk to you guys uh, later I guess tomorrow good luck out there and I'll see you again soon. Ciao.